Hello everybody and welcome back to the Yes Epic Yes channel. Now today we've gone ahead and got a, another product review for you. This is actually a very, very interesting range of products. I feel like I say that with absolutely everything that I do, but these have actually really, really surprised me. Um, so let's go ahead and just get into it. We have got some different type of battery apparatus from CT Energy. Thank you very much, of course, for sponsoring this video. Um, and I have to say, having used these products, I'm quite intrigued. They have sent us basically two of everything. There's a second one of these, which I have been trying out on my own. I'll go ahead and throw a clip of that now. Um, this is a grey version of the exact same thing. And this here, I suppose, is the first product we'll have a look at. This here is the rechargeable um, actual charger. So, <laughs> um, the one thing that I would say with these is so far from everything that I've said, they say don't recommend use with anybody else's products. So I'm not 100% sure as to why that is, but I'm gonna go ahead and open this up here. So you've got a main unit, which also comes with a USB-C cable that just flew down and in it comes this. Now I got a box of batteries in my other one and this one came with a separate box of batteries. So I don't know if that's possibly because this is a sponsored video, one of them came with batteries or exactly what the story is with that, but go ahead and check out your item description before you purchase as to whether or not there is actually batteries included. Um, but this here is the charger. This here, as you saw in the video, lights up into actually quite a nice display. The quality of the product overall is pretty good. It's definitely not as premium as certain other um, rechargeable yokes out there, for lack of better words, but there is a huge amount of convenience added with this that I'm going to discuss once we go through some of the other products that make it a little bit clearer. So for now, this here is the rechargeable. You've got a, I don't even know how to describe this. You've got a spring loaded catch, for lack of a better word, that clamps your uh, AA, AAA, or 1850s, I think they are. <laughs> I'll have to double check that. You can basically fit almost any type of battery into these. They're designed as such. But the really intriguing part is this middle slit here. And that middle slit there is for button batteries. Now I had never, ever, ever heard about rechargeable button batteries until these arrived. So these here are the CT Energy rechargeable button batteries. Um, I haven't had any use of them for them as of yet, so I haven't gone and recharged them, but everything else that I've been sent has been charging perfectly, no problems. Um, you do want to double check where you are buying these from. There's a UK slash EU and US variant with different voltages. So go ahead and check that before you're buying anything because obviously we run at a higher voltage in the EU compared to the US. Um, but these are really, really, really intriguing and I will look forward to actually putting these into something um, because we're always looking for button batteries and because of how difficult it is to get right numbers and whatnot because of different sizes, different millimeters, all of that, this could be a really, really great option for somebody like myself instead of having to go and buy a box of 30 of one type of button battery, just get a couple of the button batteries that you need and then recharge them. Super, super, super handy. Never seen this before. Absolutely huge positive for this company. Um, really, really intriguing. On top of that, I have an additional product which doesn't work with the recharger that I think it may be even more intriguing. And that is these. These here are rechargeable AA and AAA batteries. Okay, so you're probably going, there's nothing new about that. We've had rechargeable AAs and AAAs for ages, and you'd be completely correct. However, these ones, and I've lost the cable for this one, uh, it's sitting over there plugged in. These ones are actually rechargeable. These batteries are rechargeable, and not in the traditional sense where you're putting it into a recharger like that. The cable that you are charging with plugs straight in to these batteries. There's a little slit just there, as you can see, I'm gonna catch my other ones. That slit right there, that's for a micro USB port. I have never in my life seen a battery that charges straight into the battery. Um, there are a couple of points that I would say about this that I think could be improved on. 
Uh, for example, it's very difficult to know when it's charged, and I'm going to actually just double check the packaging here that it doesn't say anything. Yeah, they say it takes approximately two hours to charge, and the USB, the indicator LED. Now, I'm not 100% sure where that indicator is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up the other pack. I've opened up the AAAs just to look at them and try them out, and my main concern with it was the fact that it didn't look like there was any kind of indicator on them, but I may have missed that. Um, so if they have got an indicator on these, which is my fault for not checking before, I do apologize, um, that would be absolutely huge. I was under the impression that you have to check these yourself or just leave them for a certain amount of time. But let me go ahead and double check here, which would also be the importance of keeping this cable. Um, doesn't appear to be an indicator there, and doesn't appear to be an indicator anywhere there. And I didn't see an indicator on the actual batteries, but maybe I have that wrong. So I plugged in the uh, AA batteries, which I had tested prior, and I hadn't noticed the LED on them because the cable wasn't plugged in properly. Um, it can be a little bit finicky to try and get these in, but they do work. <laughs> they do work. The small AAA ones don't show an LED for me, but I have a, a theory as to why that most might be. When we were ordering these products, these were originally meant to go for an American review. They got sent to me through our channel. That's just how sometimes these things work. Um, but I have EU plugs. Now, my charger is a six port USB smart charger. So I would have assumed that it was able to correctly output the right amount because it's got quick charge 3.0. It's got our, uh, artificial intelligence plugs as they put it. So it reads the expected input from a device and slowly creeps it up and then where its limit is, it tends to usually find it. I'm not 100% sure on the, how the technology works, but that's how I assume. These don't show an indicator, and I don't know if maybe it's just because the charger that I have is too powerful for them, so they don't accept, which might very well be the case, because these are, as I say, meant to be American products. However, you get a four-piece micro USB um, cascade for lack of better words and that plugs into just a standard USB A port and then plugs into these four. These are working perfectly for me. This one I think might just simply be due to my problem but it does say that they have an indicator and I can see the LEDs on the top. So that one is use at your own risk and make sure you're using the right plug because I might have fried mine. But this is really really intriguing. I have never ever seen somebody come up with this idea. I have never seen these on the Irish market, I haven't seen them online, and maybe I've just been shielded to them, but this is super, super handy. To be able to just plug in a battery, not having to worry about a whole load of excess stuff, means that when I'm traveling, I can just put my batteries into my device. I'm not having to worry about bringing extra chargers, extra cables, all the rest. I throw that in my pocket, put my batteries in my device, and that's it. From that point onwards, I can essentially forget about it. Super, super handy. Never seen before. Really, really positive. Oh, there goes the triple A's. <laughs> and if there is one thing that I might say as an improvement, which I'm assuming might have already been thought of, is that the micro, uh, micro USB is an odd choice, considering that basically everything else, well, there are only two other products, which is the chargers um, that take a plug. They use USB-C not micro. So I don't know why micro has been chosen for these, but I can only assume that there is a reason. But if a USB-C variant was able to come out, that would be excellent because, well, I mean, as we saw, it can be very difficult to get these in. Um, I completely misjudged the LED thing. I had originally thought that these, the triple A's, were, or the double A's, were going to be under the same thing as the triple A's because I had plugged in the triple A's, hadn't seen a light, plugged in the AAs, hadn't set up, seen a light, come on here to talk about it, read the box and saw that there should be a light, which I should have done in the first place, which is my fault because I go into these things too quickly. Um, and 
sure enough, no light. So these ones are working, my, uh, smaller ones aren't, and I'm not 100% sure why that is, but it could be my fault. Um, and then additionally, <coughs> we've received just a standard pack of the uh, AA batteries, which you can, of course, go and order yourself. Really nice. Um, as I said, they do say that their products only work with each other, if that makes sense. And then if you happen to want bigger batteries, like I was saying, of course they do them. And I'm going to go ahead and double check the number. 18650. So these are mainly used for, you can see them in big, bo big box vapes, for example. They're used, um, where once again, of course, you want to have rechargeable if you're using a vape. I do notice, though, there has been a very small bit of damage in shipping. Now, as I say, these were meant for the US, not for the EU, so take a moment before you consider that. Um, but this kind of packaging I have found before with batteries can lead to damage. So if there's going to be any recommendation for the company on this product, it might be just to send them in a different package. Even if you just put a cardboard sleeve in there and house the batteries in that cardboard sleeve. Because as you can see, there's just a tiny, tiny, if it'll focus, which it won't, there's a tiny, tiny bit of tear just there on that battery. Um, which has been done during shipping. Now, operationally, the battery isn't going to change at all. It's still going to be perfectly usable, but I know that certainly bad scuffs can lead to, ba can lead to battery leakage. Um, so that's just one, one small thing. Obviously, by the packaging, by the labelings, you can tell that this stuff is being shipped out from China. Then again, everything's being shipped out from China. We know that. Um, it's nice to get something direct from the supplier. That, that's always my opinion on it. If you're going for a retailer for fancier packaging, you're just paying more for extra packaging. You're getting the same product. So really, really like these. I haven't had anything to actually test these in as of yet, but they are charging, no problem, working in the big rechargeable charger. Um, and yeah, to be honest with you, there isn't a huge amount more to say about these products. Really, really, really interesting. I like the way that CT Energy have taken a different look at the rechargeable market. Not just in the sense that it can be very difficult going from, you know, AAA chargers, AA chargers, bigger chargers for your 1800s and whatnot. And um, that's always been a problem with rechargeables. But the solution to that was your universal adapters. Never saw them with button batteries, never saw batteries that you actually directly plug into. Really weird for comparison to what is like normal around here, but maybe this is something that you guys have in the US and we don't have over here. So as I say, there are EU markets, there are UK markets, there are US markets for all of these products. Make sure that you are checking out at the right one and don't do what I did. <laughs> um, but overall, I'd have to give these products probably a, a, a solid seven and a half, eight out of 10. Um, if there were any points that I would improve on for a start, your small packaging, if you're sending out single batteries, this might have just been for me, in which case disregard that. And then as well with this, the, sorry, with this, the actual charger itself. This here is a great product. Really, really great idea. LCD display shows up perfectly, shows up everything that you want to show. It is exactly what it needs to be. I just do it higher quality. The plastic on this is a little bit cheaper, as you can see, um, which you do get with a lot of rechargers. It's just naturally how it's meant to be, but just a slightly higher grade of plastic, I think would really, really improve these products. The black one is definitely less noticeable than the gray one, because obviously gray tech tends to be kind of associated with older tech because gray plastic tends to be a little bit cheaper. You're not having to put as much black dye into it as far as I'm aware, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but a small bit of improvement on the plastic would take this up from a seven and a half to an eight to easily an eight and a half to a nine. Um, there's very little that I could see in improvements. USB-C on the batteries if possible, but they are such a huge leap for somebody over here in the EU in terms of actual design that I'm completely happy enough with using a micro USB. Um, and yeah, I don't think there's really a huge amount more else to say. Really, really great products. Absolutely love where they're going with it. And I hope that in the future they continue to refine things. Um, and I will be planning to use them on my daily experience. As for battery length, they're 
I'd say probably above average for what I've had for cheap batteries. Something like, say, if you go for Kodak, where you're getting a whole bulk of, say, 20 batteries for a couple of euro. Definitely last longer than that. They don't last nearly as long as some of the more premium brands. Um, some of the Philips Eneloops, I have Eneloops. Um, they work very, very well and last extremely long. I know that Sennheiser do a premium rechargeable battery, I believe. But if you are looking for a cheaper alternative with more versatility and more options available in terms of actual brand of, um, or sorry, actual model of battery, I gotta give it to CT Energy. These guys are really, really pushing forward with it and I really, really love their products. Um, so apologies for my misunderstanding. Thank you so much, GT, for sending us these products. And if you would like to check them out, do have a check out at our links below. Once again, make sure you're going to the right version based on what you have. And uh, I think I'll leave it at there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to pick one of these up for yourself, as I said, links in the description. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. Tell us what you think about this video. Leave it down in the comments. And of course, leave a like. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.